pick up the beautiful, anti beautiful round from from Ben and Bishop there. Uh, able to get himself three kills, only buying a Deagle armor. Yeah, I think the Rift Guardians were uh, trying to hit this game a little bit early. <laughs> trying to uh, be aggressive. Yeah, try, try, trying to get get in the heads of uh, Next Esports by pushing B there and kind of establishing some dominance, but Bishop is not, you know, having any of that this game. Yeah, some nice pistol shots by uh, Next Esports. By the, the young player there, yeah. We'll make this a 12-5 game. Enforce Rift Guardians on the eco, but they will force up into it. Uh, five sets of armor, four sets of head armor. And just will have the. Gonna flash into Tcon here. He's gonna call that it. it's clear. Yeah, Teal. But OC is holding it very passively. Could be a good day right there. Oh, look at that. Oof. That HP. That was beautiful. There are two players back there. Daedric here to get a trade. Teal gets rushed down. There is only one player on that B side, it is Tish. The Shroom is trying to get aggressive against the Ivy area. And... Oh, that's a very Finally nice able to shot. land that one tap, but he's brought down to 39 HP. Let's see he's here. He's still holding very close. He doesn't really have half HP. So it's a little softened up there. OC will get himself Beautiful team one. flash there into T-Com, but they do spot him in the corner. Danger gets one! Ooh, but he, is, he only puts the other guy down to half health. Ben gets a kill, I believe, towards Ivy. And it leaves Tish all alone in a 1v4 situation. He's gonna be coming up from above ladder, I believe. But he only has a 5-7, he doesn't even have head armor. Yeah, he's just gonna opt to save for an exit here. So yeah, they will be a... Tish will be saving. They're gonna have to eco next round anyway, so maybe yeah. try to save his body armor into the next round. Yeah. All he can hope for is maybe one of them gets a little impatient, pushes somewhere, and gives himself a free gun. Otherwise, he's not gonna be do able to do much in this round. He has no kit. He only has a 5 7. Very uh, nice uh, eco round there. Anti eco round. The, uh, yeah, very, very, very methodical from the T side. They just sort of take it slow. You know, watch for pushes, they just hold their angles, hold their guns, use the advantage of the weapons that they have. And it is going to be a save here from the CT side. So next esports, able to at least get it within, you know, distance I believe, you know. Able to bring it within the realm of possibility if they just keep this going. Keep this momentum that they've built from that eco round uh, win. Yeah. Here, you know, able to demoralize the CT side, kind of get in their heads. They could bring this back, but as of right now, it's 12-6 for the CT side it's on the heavily tall. favored. I'm yeah. Talk about the climb for the yeah. Sports. As we said, this this map is extremely CT sided. They are double stacked here towards this uh, B site here, towards this these uh, wooden blocks. Got Try to catch up. a cheeky kill or two, yeah. Well, maybe we'll expect the second player there after the first frag goes out. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the three, the four man of Danger and Shroom. Again, the T side is going to opt for some sort of slow play, just going to hold for pushes, hold for oh, some sort of CT there, aggression. There are five players on the B side. Five players. Oh, if they if they were to walk out A, like they uh, seems like they're going to here, they're going to they're going to have a free bomb site. They're going to have a free plant. So they're going to read my next seed boards. Going to walk out on a very open. Free bomb site here. The Rift Guardians quickly realize that yeah, the is going to be Rift Guardians there. calling for the for the B stack just to see you know hope that you know it's 50-50 chance hope that the the T side walks into their waiting arms and maybe maybe they can make a round out of it. But Terra side opting for the other side unfortunately, and they're going to be going for frag hunting. They're going to try to get themselves some money. Spriggles with two. He he needs those frags right now because he is at the bottom of the scoreboard right now at four and fifteen. So, not 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 at his usual type of game. So yeah, struggling for Spriggles. And hopefully this will get him back into the game. It is up to the last man alive and then we'll control the spray. Take him down at the end. So seven to twelve. Now, th now this is a very important round here. If the if the terrorist side win this round, they're gonna start gaining momentum and money like even no. That that is extremely important to do on this map. 
if you want to grind out rounds as a team. Yeah. We saw, it on the, we saw it from the other team. They, they, you know, they were able to win the first, uh, I believe, like five rounds, and then they let the CTs win one, and then they won the, the next round, and immediately put them back on the eco, and it just built all sorts of momentum. Crack. No, no uh, MVP I believe, I believe, I believe they messed up their smoke and Tcon there, and Daedric wasn't aware that he could be still seen. Well, yeah, see that, see that smoke right there yeah. to the left. Yeah. Frag distribution there for a uh, XC Sports Ben. Having himself a game, 18 frags. Bishop and OC not too far behind with 15. Sprinkles a uniting. Sprinkles struggling. Could use some, yeah. Watch. He got, keep in mind, he got two frags last round. Mm hmm. So he, he's doubled his he doubled total his frags. frags. Yeah. Two to four it is definitely a run. It looks like it's going to be an A wall strat here from the T side. Very usual strategy coming in on this map. OC getting himself another frag. That's two frags for him on the right. And, and he got a third. One. Ooh, what a beautiful shot. This is this is exactly what Next Esports needs if they want to get into back into this game. Tish is going to opt for the save because he's going to get himself some cheeky kills. If the terrorists can live with all five alive this round, this would be phenomenal for them. Build up that bank. Build up that economy. And they could just continue winning rounds, and if they lose one, oh well, they could rebuy and then win it to reset the money of the of the CT side. This is, we're, I think we're in for a game here. I think I think Next Esports is starting to gain some momentum here. Bishop able to get that frag. Oh no. So that's nothing safe for Rift Guardians. Nothing will be safe. Next Esports is a notoriously strong T-sided team. If I do believe so myself. I do like to uh, run it up on the T side. That's exactly what they're going to need to do to get back into this one. This they, have, they have a very good group of aimers, you know, they, they just ride the, the ability of one tapping with their AKs. Let's see if they can continue doing it here. Looks like once again they're going to opt for some sort of passive play on the T side, just wait for pushes. That's the right play. You know. This is another yep. stat coming out here by the Rift Guardians. This time on A site, and it could, this could actually be some sort of exciting round coming out here if, if they do opt for the A site. But just upgraded pistols, no, no, no type of armor here on the Rift Guardians. So uh, should be clean and easy as long as uh, they keep their keep their distances away from these pistols. As long as they use the range of their weapons, they should be able to win this round. But all the CTs are close up to T-Con. They're getting within that one-tap range for those P250s and 5.7s. But it, it looks like it's going to be some sort of Ivy play here. That's a good call because there's only one player there, and I think he's the player with the Deagle. No, he's the player with the P250. He doesn't even... He's just looking into the corner, and Bishop checks it. There we go. He's gonna be there calling though that there's multiple there. Oh, Uniting though with two frags, able to get himself back into this game. Daedric with a nice one D, but OC quickly trades it out. He was all on his own, so I'm wondering what happened to his. Well, that Molly. OC will be able to take it out. Teal not really now they know where he is. Safe. Yeah. He's gonna be huge damage. This is gonna be difficult. If I were the CTs, I would take a pause next round and just try to. Regain their composure and try yeah. to just like settle down the situation. Yeah, it will be the second Clear their heads, round. go get a drink, maybe even. The second gun round will be coming up for the CT Rift Guardian. But I think here is where we're gonna get the double ops set up from the CT side. Yep, there it is, Shroom and Extraordinaire buying them up. No head armor for them, good call, because they. Well, Uniting could, does have the chance to one tap them now, but probably won't be that big of a deal. Let's see here. Yeah, two kits. On the side. Oh, yeah, okay. look at them. Yeah, even if they lose this round, they're gonna be they're gonna be well into well able to buy for probably another like two or three rounds, even after this one. And it looks like it's gonna be some sort of fast B play. No, they're just hu huddling look above this, ladder. They, they have brought out the couple off set up on the Rift Guardian troop and extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. Have picked up the AWP in their own respects. So. We'll be looking to play this pit game. Shroom is holding towards the future. Once again, next he's playing this very passive style. Not interested in a, uh, going, using any type of speed here. 
to it around. So it looks like. All right, pretty it's gonna be an A play here, three. yeah. Smokes are down. Droom, though, able to catch OC off guard with that little bit of an off angle there. Uniting spots the player in heaven. I believe that is their other op, yes. T side push has been halted for a bit here. Shroom gonna get himself a second frag. Beautiful bomb angle onto Bishop. Yeah, bomb down though for the T side, but it is a 5v3. 5v2 now. Riggle's trying to play a little cheeky angle next to the smokes. This, this will be the ties, but he gets himself one, but won't be able to do it. Uniting is going to need to make a play of the lifetime, but he won't do it. Shroom with a beautiful 3k in that round. Yeah, it feels like a. Able to hold down his spot. Just got a. Uh, the issue there was, uh... Bogged down, coming on the T-connector. Uh, they weren't able to, uh, get the injury. The bomb was able to get to the site behind the smoke. But there were mm -hmm. two players down by that point. Yeah, Look at this. yeah, Shroom uh, immediately yeah. opens up onto OC because of that off angle he was holding. No flashes coming up from the T-side, though. I don't think any flashes were thrown over. Yeah, but money, like I said, still there, 13, 9k. Yeah. 5k on Bishop still. So even if they lose this round, they'll be able to buy, maybe possibly for the rest of the game, if you factor in loss bonus. But this could be a big round here for the next esports to break the Rift Guardians economy. I do believe that even if uh, next esports were to win this round, I think I do think Rift Guardians could be able to buy. But let's see here. This is about to be an op duel here. This is going to be lovely and ivy. Never mind, it wants us to watch Bishop. Screw that though, I'm going back because one of them is about to peek into the other's waiting arms. And who's going to win this duel between Shroom and OC? OC. Yeah, the uh, huge one. Oh, he sees that back. two players have fall back. <laughs> Looks like once again it's going to be some sort of A play from the terrorist side. I believe they're lining up their smokes out there. All five of them actually are all gathered out there. It looks like it's going to be some sort of a full wall this time. There are only here comes the flesh. There are only two players here. Hey, what is back Ivy? Oh yeah, there's only there's three players on the B side. This is this is a great call from the uh, terrorist side. But Shroom though able to get that frag onto Bishop. It's quickly traded out though by OC. So, yeah, oh, Ooh, nice beautiful shot from Uniting. 4v3 situation. Ben with another frag. Adric though. He manages right, to get back one. Into it. OC. Make sure he doesn't contribute any more to round. Just rid of there. Say the team they might be able to buy it to the next round. I would be surprised if they do. He could he could he could drop for a teammate. Yeah, he could drop for Shroom if he wants to. Let's see here, they are on the hunt. They all have plenty well, of two money of them. Here. Yeah, three of them have plenty of money, so they're just going to opt to hunt for the extraordinaire. Don't want him to save that op. But if he's able to at least kill one or two more, this could be a situation for him. But he's going to be able to save that. CT side could could buy up here if they wanted to. Yeah, it would be a pretty pretty nice buy. Extraordinaire drops in there. And it looks like they maybe are? Or they're just going to... Pistol head armor for those who had a lot of money. Yeah, they're yeah, just gonna we'll save. Half, by, yeah. half armor on this. Yeah, Good call here. They they, they they realize that they're up still on the favored side, so they're just gonna play it play it safe, play it controlled, and just you know bide their time. It'd be very difficult to win the uh, anti -eco, uh, an eco round on the CT side of the trade. These uh, uh longer inches and long angles. Uh, the pistols to keep your rifles further out of the way it can be very difficult to uh, win an eco, so good call. It is an execute on the B site. Tish though, able to get one beautiful frag there, but he's traded out by OC. Oof. 4v4 situation. See if the CTs can make any sort of noise. They only have one rifle on them form of an AWP. I would just I would just try their best to go for some. Oh, Daedric though. Two quick frags for the CT side at 3. And they know that Uniting is up here because he just killed their teammate, but they no, they don't. Extraordinary is caught off guard. It is a 1v1 Extraordinary even as a kit. 
Alrighty, though, we'll take him down. That's incredible play by him. Being able to 